So this is a multi-tool. It's multiple tools in one small package. It's, you know, just about the most practical, useful thing I own, and I carry it with me on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, you know, they come in a few different, you know, configurations, you know, depending on the brand or the size of the model. But for the longest time, I usually just thought of a multi-tool as basically being this, just like generally useful things for, for everyone. You know, pliers, a knife, screwdriver, that sort of thing. Uh, that was until my friend gave me this, which is an, another sort of multi-tool that I'd never seen before. It's got a level, it's got some rulers, it's got a pen, it's got a rubbery thing for like using with a tablet. Uh, it's got a screwdriver, you know, uh, there's a flathead in there too, I'm, I can't, can't pull it out now. Um, but it got me thinking, right? Like, okay, so multi-tools come in all shapes and sizes, like what would a multi-tool for my day-to-day -day life look like? And I'll show you. Um, the, sort of, the sort of tools that I, I need to carry on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, because I'm, I'm a pre-clerkship student going into clerkship uh, in medical school, and and I'm expected to carry things like this, like a reflex hammer, a ruler, uh, a pen, a pen light, an eye chart, a few other things too that I haven't bought yet, like a 10 gram monofilament, um, and, and it's just it's a lot, right? It's a lot to carry, it's inconvenient, I hate carrying all these things, I always have to find like what I'm carrying in the right pockets, I'm always like patting down you know, my, my different pockets to find just what I'm looking for, and it's annoying. Um, so I thought, what would a medical multi-tool look like? So I thought about it, and then I designed one. So here's a 3D printed uh, medical multi-tool. I call it the JVP. Uh, it stands for Just Versatile Pen. So let's take a look at it. So first, metric and imperial rulers. Um, there's a reflex hammer. Sorry, uh, hit a bit off center. There's a um, uh, people gauge, a quick screen for red and green color blindness, a phaganomogram because I think evidence-based medicine is really cool, and I like calculating like post-test probabilities. Um, an eye chart, uh, a pen, uh, which you know it's right now it's a sharpie, but it could be replaced with really anything, um, and uh, a light. It's, you know, it cost me, uh, in con contrast to all these things, right? Um, you know, the, pe the the reflex hammer itself is like, it costs like, what, like 30 bucks? And this eye chart costs like 10 bucks the, at, the, at the campus bookstore. And this pen light, you know, costs like 10 bucks. The ruler I had from a seventh grade geometry set, which, you know, I'm sure it cost money at the time, like five bucks or something. I think I saw it, you know, the, the drugstore. Uh, and pens you can just borrow, but like you're looking at a decent amount of money here, or this cost me like you know 50 cents in 3D printer filament. Uh, I printed this all off with a uh, just your average desk uh, desktop like inkjet printer. Um, this it was colored with a sharpie because it's actually not even a color printer. Um, a piece of rubber, an LED, you know, uh, some batteries and some metal for the for the electrical contacts. You know, for for about you know, two dollars. You know, if that, uh, you have all the things in one simple package that you know I normally be fumbling around and carrying with me. Um, and you know, just a few other things I thought were sort of interesting about it is like, uh, I still have a lot of space left over, right? So if you have any ideas for things like reference charts or clinical decision tools that you know you think might be useful, I can put on here. Um, I'd love to, I'd love to chat, you know, I can make this customizable. And, and I think that's sort of the beauty of it is that like, I'll just provide the 3D printed uh, file, the, the STL file, so you can 3D print your own. Uh, you can remix it, you can change it um, and build your own, you know, instead of paying these companies for, for things you frankly probably don't even need um, uh, and will only inconvenience you. This fits in the pocket of a, of a lab coat uh, or of a like Patagonia fleece, I've tested both. Um, it's pretty lightweight, but but just with enough heft, so it actually works with the reflex hammer because like the batteries are actually right here with the with the light. Uh, and this is only version one, so version version. And, and I would even stress like I, I would even stress like like the version part. Like it's far from being finished. Um, I would like to. I, I think I figured out a way to maybe fit an ophthal ophthalmoscope in it in about the same form factor. So like it'd be actually even more useful than just a pen light. 
um, but that you know requires a bit more work. I need to just source some lenses, um, uh, and I'm also still trying to think like what to do with all this extra real estate. Uh, so yeah, um, if you have any ideas, please contact me. But this is this is the version one of the JVP. Um, yeah, so so thank you.